Welcome back to the video guys. Today we have my C5 Corvette. This is my drift Corvette. We're gonna do a few mods on it. As the title of the video says, it is time for an upgraded radiator, cooling fans, and oil cooler. These are the three big things these Corvettes need in my opinion. This is my C5 Z06 drift car Corvette and uh, she runs a little bit hot. It's a super fun drift car. If you missed my last video, please check it out in the top right hand corner. But without further ado, let's get underway. We have the DeWitt's aluminum radiator here and then we have the DeWitt's uh, aluminum shroud with the radiator fans tucked in all nicely and then over here we have the Lingenfelter oil cooler kit I'll leave links down in the description of everywhere I got these kits these kits aren't cheap I think I spent about $1,800 getting this kit ready to rock and roll but next time I go to the track hopefully my water temps and my oil temps will be a little lower so before you ask this car has an upgraded camshaft long tube headers intake uh, kind of the basic bolt-ons, if you will, to get it up to where it needs to be. And without upgrading the cooling system, it's going to run a little bit warm. She's been tuned as well, so. Alrighty, she's still cooling down a little bit. I'm going to go and get started by taking off the whole air intake here. So I'm going to take these off. The wiring, the hosing, and also this radiator shroud, which is held in by four bolts. Two on each side, just down in here. And that way we can expose the radiator and at that point we'll get underneath and drain it once she cools off a little bit of course so i do want to mention something real quick this is not sponsored by dewitt's i did pay a pretty penny for this radiator and this fans and this is kind of how it came to me i just got it out of the box and there's a decent little gouge in it you can see the little uh it's even kind of pushed in i'm gonna put it in as is hopefully it's not leaking i don't think it is but i'm gonna let them know this is just an honest review and how-to video for you guys other than that looks really good fans look pretty solid build quality looks good besides the little blemish Taking a look under the Corvette, this is your drain plug right here. So I believe you stick a little Allen key in that little uh, that little guy and kind of twist it and pull it out. Uh, I've noticed my shroud here. I've never, this car's pretty new to me. It's actually it popped out, but that's okay. We're going to take it all out together because we're going to replace it with the DeWitt's one. Uh, while I'm under here, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my fan wiring. So I believe it's just right up in here connected with kind of where my thumb's at. I'm going to pull that out, disconnect the wiring. Make sure it's no longer attached to the fan because I believe it clips in. I'm also going to undo this lower radiator hose. That way we can go up above and get this thing out. <laughs> okay, that, that was fun. So on that drain plug, you can actually use a quarter inch socket and extension. And you just kind of do like a little half turn loose in it and then you pry it out a little bit. And once you start prying it out, it, le it lets it drain out of this little nipple here however as you saw if you pried it all the way it's just going to shoot completely out of that hole where, where the drain plug was so i got to keep that in mind next time this is my first time doing this up here at the top i'm going to go and start off with these two little hoses on each side one's for the reservoir and one's for i believe what is it the steam port i don't know whatever top radiator hose chilling over there easy little clamps take those off and then i believe she's going to be pretty much free uh, however we do got to keep an eye out for the AC condenser that's clipped into the front of the radiator. So what I'm going to do is just lift the AC condenser up, kind of set it to the side for now, and that way we can wiggle out both the shroud and the little skinny. Look at that little boy. Little skinny C5 stock radiator. It's coming out. It's time to upgrade. Something I'm trying to remember is the orientation of these little clamps. I want to make sure they go back where they need to be because it's always a pain if they're twisted like this one was. Some previous owner twisted this one. That way we can get it where it needs to be. This is my first Corvette and I must say it's super nice. However, this hood does get annoying just being in the way all the time, but uh, it's all right. We're making the most of it. Okay, there's the fan. Well, there's a stock C5 Corvette radiator and as you can see, it's really really small and mine even has a bunch of grass and crap in it the dewitt's <laughs> despite having its little boo-boo is uh, quite a bit thicker and a lot nicer as you can even tell so we're gonna go ahead and get this situated in there i did have to fight kind of the ac condenser so i do want to make sure that is situated how it needs i'm probably gonna go ahead and put the shroud on the radiator first it sits in these little hooks kind of like the ac condenser does just on the back side that way i can just put it all in at one time and hopefully that ac condenser just clips in so far this process is a breeze all right so i got the new radiator already dropped in it wasn't too bad it did definitely help if you had somebody helping you out as far as just tilting it back and forth 
forth just to set it in there. Uh, I put the radiator first, and then I put the shroud. The shroud only needs those little uh, those little fins to sit where the stock one was. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the radiator hoses back. I got the two on that side, the one top and the one bottom. Also gonna connect the wiring underneath as I disconnected the stock. Overall, this install wasn't too hard at all. I'll let you guys know how it goes. We're gonna fill it up with some coolant and get it blood. So just got the wires plugged back in, both fans. Really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie some of these uh, extra loom up. Make sure you don't forget that grommet, swapping it over from the factory radiator to the aftermarket one. And then there's a new little twisty uh, drain plug here as well. Now I'm gonna finish up under here by putting on the lower radiator hose and tying that in. And then we can uh, put the shrouds back on and be done. Another little tip that I figured out when I was filling up the coolant is make sure that the drain plug is all the way out or tightened to the right. Whenever you screw it in, the little fins will actually come out and you'll see a lot more threads. That's how you know it's tight. I went ahead and did the reverse. I loosened it, I guess, but it was threading in. I thought that was tight. Nope, just lost some coolant. So a little tip, turn to the right till it's tight. Then the drain will be officially in. Already, we just got her all bled. This is the stuff you wanna use, the deck's cool. GM specific looking stuff. I think the key is the deck's cool is what people say online. Make sure to get a couple extra jugs. I even used more than just two because I think this new radiator has a bigger capacity because it is larger. So make sure to do that. I got her all bled. I'm gonna take her on the street and I think we're gonna do a little bit of a test strip later tonight. <laughs> But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out at all, or if you enjoyed it, make sure to give the video a big old thumbs up and subscribe. We got a lot more Corvette content coming for you. We do a lot of drifting here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next video. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation.